We're stocking up, trying to get a shot out of the antelope. We see these with these white-tailed deer. They were just totally oblivious to us being there. They didn't care that we were there. And all of a sudden, it was like, oh, I wish I had a tag. And Rusty says, I've got a tag. I wish I would have had a white-tailed tag. I got a tag. You do? I haven't filled my deer tag yet. You want to shoot him? I know we're going for that antelope, but do you want to shoot him? He's right there. Well, I don't want to screw up your antelope hunt. But... No, you won't. You won't screw it up at all. And I'm like, no way! They take him out. Here's my gun. I don't mind whatsoever. You okay. got your tag. Let's do it. Brian offered to me to shoot that white-tailed buck with their slug gun, which I've never hunted with a slug gun before, so I had no idea. I think he's, uh, I think he's about 75 yards. 70, 75. I've never shot a slug gun though before, Brian. All right, now listen. These these slug guns, these light field slugs, he's 75 yards. Just hold it right on him. Rusty, wait just a minute, because he's going to turn broadside. That doe's going to walk out from behind that bush, and he's going to follow her, OK? OK. They really don't care a lot about anything, do they? I asked Brian, does it kick? And he says, yes, hold on to it. How bad is this thing going to kick? Huh? A bunch. Does it? So pull it into your. Don't worry about it. Just pull it into your shoulder tight, and hold hold the barrel down. Don't let the muzzle jump. God, I got him a good shot right there. That's not a really good shot. I would just wait just a minute. that son of a gun to turn. I'm running out of tape. All right, he's going to come out now. OK, look, there, there, here he comes. And remember, just hold it right on him. All right, now, Rusty, go ahead whenever you want. 